It is Friday, bros and ghouls. Today I'm going to show you how to create a wound for FX makeup using a few basic materials. For a list of products used in this tutorial, check out the video description below. Measure out the wound area and mark on a smooth, flat surface. Now you're going to need some latex-free medical gloves. Here I'm using Chavant Medium Clay. It's a professional oil-based clay that is sulfur-free. Start out with some basic sausage shapes by rolling the clay. Press the clay onto the surface and begin blending out. Pull the material away to create a more even transition. Next I'm going to use a basic wedge scraper to keep the clay on a more even plane as it's scraped away. Continue adding more sausage shapes to expand your wound shape. It can be any size you desire, but I feel like starting small and subtle is best for beginners. Next we're going to use this wooden curve tool. Keep in mind your clay can be heated to a softer, more malleable consistency. Other popular brands include Monster Clay and Prima. Now I'm using a metal loop tool that's great for shaving the clay down. It knocks off the high points just like a mini cheese grater. Repeat the same process with the opposite side of the wound. Press the clay blobs into place and gradually blend outward into your work surface. For this side of the wound, I demonstrated how the loop tool can be used as an effective blender. It cuts the surface down and creates a transition at the same time. You can vary the width of your incision by going in with a knife tool and cutting out a larger wedge of clay. Since this wound is going to be a slit throat, I decided to add these small vertical sausage shapes to define the muscle fibers on each side. Now it's time to use our lighter fluid. Mmm, fire. Always use lighter fluid in a well-ventilated area and under proper supervision. By mixing small lumps of clay with the lighter fluid, I've created a slip to add over all the internal details. You can use a cheap set of artist brushes for this process. This process softens the clay and knocks down any abrupt details that might exist in the sculpt. Remember to step away from the piece and come back to it with a new set of eyes especially if you get frustrated or question how it looks. Now it's time to add some basic skin details and imperfections. Start by taking some plastic sheet, like the Ziploc bag. Begin running cross-hatched lines into the clay through the bag. I do this by using a plastic pointed tool. Don't use anything too sharp or you'll pierce through the bag and ruin your sculpt. Practice varying levels of pressure and allow the lines to cross organically. You can also reference macro photos of skin texture on the internet or in anatomy books. For the next series of details, I use an even thinner barrier of plastic. I'm repeating the same process, but adding some more details with the tip of this tool. Be sure to extend every detail up to the very edge of the piece. Another way to add texture is by using a cheap stipple sponge. Press the sponge firmly through a thin sheet of plastic. You can also skip the plastic for more dramatic details. When all the details are added, use a brush with straight up lighter fluid to make all the impressions subtle. Spend more time brushing areas that need to be evened out or just don't appear natural. Now it's time to clean up our edges. Carefully soak a cotton swab in lighter fluid and begin wiping away any excess material surrounding your piece. Finally, Seal the appliance with a good mold release after it has dried. I made some quick walls out of a deli meat container and a hot glue gun. 60% of the time, it works every time. If you want to see more FX makeup tutorials, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Halloween is fast approaching, and I can't wait to make some awesome videos for you guys.